Hello everybody and welcome back to Queen Beans Collectibles. So we have three of the new Series 2 Make It Miniverse, nope, Make It Mini Food Miniverse Cafe Series. These are the ones that do not come with a table. I believe they're only $7.99 though. I did pick up three of them. That's all that was left in the case. Um, so that meant I got the free macaroons as well. They don't come with um, resin, but that's okay. Usually I have extra to work with. So we're just going to go for it. Um, we have three to open. So same as the usual, we're going to open them all first and then we'll start to build them. So let's see what we got first here. Uh, where's the tear strip? Uh, there are quite a few different ones from the set I am interested in. I really like the hot dog. Um, what's the other one I liked? Hot dog. Oh, there's like a grape soda. I don't know why I'm so intrigued by the grape soda, but I certainly am for no good reason. I'm going to make a new pile of recyclables. Let's see what we got. My Rainbow High House looks so beautiful with all my new mini creations. So I'm going to have to show you guys soon what it looks like. I don't remember. Is there a third one? No. Okay. Here's our first one. Let's see what we got. So I'm going to move these here. We got our usual lovely little pamphlets. And then let's just quickly, because I know everybody's been doing these videos, but in case you have not seen, here's the ones we have to work with. Now, as everyone else has pointed out, there are some that are still coming, but I am highly intrigued by the grape soda, the slushy, the tomato dill or alphabet soup, the hot dog, the nachos, and the unicorn popcorn. The churros, the strawberries, etc., do also intrigue me. Just not as much as the others. So, I have my extra ingredients ready for the last few times. Let's see what we get today and what we're working with. So, let's start with Made Fresh. Let's see what we got. <gasps> I think we got Unicorn Popcorn, which I have a feeling is going to be really cute. Here's a, aw, this is a cute bowl like that a lot. I was worried that it was gonna like actually have like hollow holes and I'm like how is a popcorn staying in there but duh. Did not occur to me. Oh cute. Do we have a little blue sprinkles? Oh, I also have yellow from a different set so I could probably use both if we really wanted to get fancy. Let's get into this one. Woo there goes the nozzle and we have our glaze. Ooh, maybe we'll have enough of that to use from my donuts from the other day that I ran out of glaze for. We shall see. Now, what is in here? I am intrigued. A giant spoon. That's hilarious. Huge spoon for your popcorn. Pew, pew. Think I'll make it without the spoon. Just keep the spoon on the side. Um, okay, so, oops. Oh, darn it. There goes that plastic thing. We've got our first set. And you know what? Before I create confusion, we are just going to keep our pieces in the same place. Okay, let's continue forward. And I will say this one felt pretty light. So if that is um, the unicorn popcorn is something you want to do, I would say try to feel them for a light one. Because um, that's that one felt pretty light to me. Man, these tear strips are bad. I'm getting like literally nowhere. Oh, come on. I know other people have found tricks for this, but I am not the one. Okay. It just is annoying. I can't imagine kids not getting irritated by this. Or their parents, because then their parents are going to have to open it for them. Ooh, are we gonna get pretzels? Is that why that's on the label? I love pretzels, that'd be so cute. <gasps> With like cheese on them? Yeah, that'd be cute. That'd be very cute. Okay, let's move our papers out of the way. 
And let's see what we have to work with. Let's move this out of the way. All right, let's start with Made Fresh. That always seems like fun. Churros, all right. I am totally fine because it is not a double. And we don't want doubles. Ooh, I like the fancy tray. That's very cute. Ooh, and a little coffee cup thing for the chocolate. And then let's grab said chocolate. And what I assume is probably a spatula. No, just another really, really big spoon. They really like spoons. Or I guess I shouldn't say it's that big. It looks kind of normal. All right, let's get our tweezers in there. All right, I like these smaller sets. I think they're cute. All right, third one. Here we go. What'd we get? What'd we get? Come on, hot dog. Come on, grape soda. Come on, tomato soup. I know I don't usually normally buy the case out, but these were just kind of sitting on a shelf and there was an empty case next to it. And I was like, you know what? These are the last three. I haven't bought any of these. I'm going to buy them and take the case too. And that is what I did. Okay, here's our third one. This one looks different, so I don't think it's a double, which is good. All right, let's get our little pamphlets out of here. Oh, and we got something different. Some kind of maybe a cutting board, perhaps. So we'll put those over there. Let's start with our Made Fresh. That usually seems to give us a good hint as to what we'll be doing. Oh, I forget what these are called. Oh, where's that dang collector's guy? Something petite, I think. Vanilla Petite Fours? Fours. I don't think I'm saying that right. <laughs> but that's okay. And that also means we should have enough glaze for our donuts or macarons. So, we should be in good shape there. So, 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 so. Let's see what else we get with those. I assume we've got some icing. Oh, perfect. And we have a nozzle. Awesome. All right, we have what I assume is probably the stand. Piece one, piece two. Okay, pretty easy to put that together. Oh, it's very cute. See, now I wish they would do the stands like this more because I feel like they're sturdier this way. Um, they were, you know, when they're separate pieces, then it's not like this where it can get bent and squished in the capsule, you know? I think that's a way better idea. Way better. Although I'm sure it's not in the budget for every single thing, but to me, it's a good idea. Okay, no utensils. That's fine, as long as I didn't miss them. All right, and let's see. Oh, yeah, little decorations to go on the top. Super duper cute. Ooh, and I could get really fancy because I have, like, strawberries and stuff as well. Oh, yeah, we can get really fancy. Okay, we're going to do that one last because we can get really fancy with that one. Okay, I want to start, I really want to start with the popcorn because I think it's so cool. I'm afraid to mess it up. All right, we'll start with the churros. We're going to just go from this direction. All right, we have what we need. Almost. I have fears about getting... <laughs> The chocolate into that little tiny cup. Maybe that's what the spoon is for. This could be very treacherous, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna try it. Oop. Come on, Cheerios. Come out of here. There we go. I love how realistic they look, too, by the way. They have, like, a little coating that makes them look, like, actually sugary. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's get our chocolate open. Maybe. Okay. Oh, it doesn't want to open. Okay, now I do have the kitchen set up behind me, so we can use the UV light and cook these bad boys real quick. All right. Some very goopy chocolate. Okay. Oh, I am nervous. Okay, let's not be nervous. Let's not be nervous. Let's just go for it, right? 
big old air bubble here. All right. I guess I'm just gonna go very cautiously and try to get some to go into the cup. Come on, stop with the stringing. Okay. Now there's probably a much better way to do this. But am I gonna figure that out? No, I'm not. We're gonna do this in the most painfully tedious way possible. Cause I just don't want it to be like a mess, you know? I don't want any resin on the side or anything like that either. Okay, let's keep going. I think it could be worse. Oh no. We're in the danger zone, folks. I almost hit the sides. No, let go of my spoon. Okay, okay, we're making headway. This is coming out good. This is coming out good. Can't get too cocky though. Come on. In you go. I'm sure it doesn't have to be full all the way, but I think that would look much cuter if it was. This resin is very goopy. Very goopy. I like this one. I really do. I just don't. I feel like this is something they should have maybe given a nozzle for. Like a different, you know, like style. Because this is seriously challenging and it does take a very long time. If you don't want to make a mess, I mean. I'm sure if you're like, oh, whatever, I don't care about like it running or whatever, I'm sure you'd be fine. But I would not like it if it did. Okay, I think it's full enough. So I'm going to leave that spoon in there for a second. Move this here. Oh, darn it. I don't like it from that side. Okay, I'm going to put in a little more. A little more. There we go. Okay. All right. So now the little picture had them, like, dipped. So we're going to try it. Oh, now I see why they did a container like this. This is, okay. I see that where the logic comes in. Now they don't look like they're super coated, so I'm just gonna do a very light, light chocolate coating here. And we wanna place it just so on the plate, cause once we cook it, it's staying. Okay, so far so good. Let's keep going. Maybe even a little less on this one. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna put them together like that. And then I'm gonna look at the picture again. Make sure I'm kind of. Oh, and they do one in mid air. Well, the midair ain't gonna happen here. I ain't got no UV flashy light. I ain't that fancy. But that is perfectly fine by me. And they don't have chocolate on all of them, but I've decided that they're all going to have chocolate in my world. There we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's looking good. That's looking good. No, wait, 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 wait. I got a better idea. I kind of like it like this. There, 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 like that. And then I am very tempted to put one into the cup, but what if it goes wrong, you know? Oh boy, the pressure, the pressure. Hmm. Maybe make it look like it's about to go in. Hmm, being very indecisive. Is that gonna look silly, guys? Just like midair like that. I feel like it will look silly. And I don't want it to look silly. Hmm. 
<sighs> when did I become this indecisive? I think... We're just going to go for it. Well, you know what? It's my churros. And if I, they're going to look this way, they're going to look this way. And that is that. I'm not going to overthink it. Okay. It's a little bit messy, but could have been worse. Could have been better. <sighs> Keep touching it to the resin. All right. I don't think that one came out half bad. Oh, God. Sorry. Just realized the lighting and the angle wasn't great on that. So let me pause, cook this up, and kind of refocus everything and be right back. Okay, guys. While that one is cooking, we have plenty of this resin left. So I think we are going to make ourselves some, whoops, or throw ourselves some donuts. I have all different toppings I can choose from. What do I want to choose? We're doing chocolate. So what do I think would look cute with chocolate? I don't know, would maybe these little whipped creams on the top be kind of cute? One on each? Yeah, let's try that out. Okay. Let's see. No, we're going to bring this in a little bit more so you guys can see a little better. Hopefully. Okay. Let's make some chocolate donuts with whipped cream on them. Let's give it a shot. Okay. I do love these trays with the little paper, but I'm always worried I'm going to ruin it. So we're just going to be very gentle. Oh, so gentle that I run into everything. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to do a very light coat. Getting a little bit on my hands, but honestly, it's not bad at all. Okay, this actually is going pretty well. Let's set it down. And let's get a little whipped cream on there. Yeah, this is coming out cute. I think that's really cute. Considering I didn't have enough resin for it, I think we're making it work. Whoops. Oh, sorry, guys. Not used to this angle still. You'd think I'd be used to it by now, but I am not. Okay, come on, sticky resin. Do what I need you to do. So, yeah, like I've been saying in my previous videos, if you do a lot of these as well, keep your extras. Or do try to do a bunch at once because you'd be amazed at how much you can cross utilize stuff. I like making my own stuff anyways. I like to be different. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys are probably dizzy at this rate. Good gravy, Nicole. I don't love that there's not a lot of frosting on the side of that one, so we're just gonna add a little bit more. But not too much. Cause this stuff is a little bit drippy. Okay. Let's add our other whipped cream. Right in the middle. Oh, I think they came out really cute. All right. So I will go grab our churros and cook up our donuts. And then we will make our next two. Alrighty guys, while everything else is cooking, let's get into our unicorn popcorn. Very exciting. Alright. So, I think we're also going to use this glaze to do our macarons. Because right, this is just an empty thing, I think. That's so interesting to see the empty resin. Nothing in there. Still cool though. Still cool. Might even keep that for some decor. Alright, so let's get our macarons ready. 
and our popcorn. Ready? I hope we're ready. Let's grab an additional paper plate in case we need it. Okay. Alright guys, I think we're ready. So, let's give it a shot. I think we should probably do the popcorn first. Make sure we have enough glaze to go around. I am trying to get the tape off of it. Okay, there we go. Ah! Okay, now we're getting it open. Get the lid off. It's very pink. So our macaroons are going to have pink icing, as decided by me. Either that or I could probably use this other one. You know what? I could probably do it mixture. Mixture might be kind of cool. Okay, let's play it by ear. Let's do our popcorn first. Um, I think this is going to be very similar to the ice where you have to cut it. Yes, okay. I also think it's cool that it's two different colored popcorns, but are we supposed to mix them up? Like, why are they split in half like this? Intrigue. Um, like, the bag is, like, half and half. I kind of want to mix it. You guys are going to think I'm absolutely nuts. I just think it'll look cuter this way. I want a mixture. There. Yes, I am that person. We just gotta give it the old mixeroony. These are so cute. Look at this little popcorn pile. It's so precious. Okay. Start getting some of this in there. Okay, that's a good, good little start. And then we'll put a little bit in just so we're starting to stick together. I don't want it to be, like, um, uniform. I want it to be, like, very much glazy. Okay, we're going to keep putting some more in. Again, just doing a layer. I just want the popcorn to stick to itself, essentially, at this point. Whoops. Sorry guys, didn't mean to take you on that road trip with me. I guess you could have done half and half, but I don't know, I think it's cuter this way. Oh no, there goes a the popcorn. There's so much fake food on my floor right now, I can't even. I can't even. Okay, now another drizzle. But now we're getting to the top, so we want to get it right. in case every popcorn, you know, isn't covered or whatever. Here we go. I think this is coming out cute. And this will look really cute in the little Rainbow High slumber party area I have set up. I didn't know if I'd like the popcorn one, but it is very cute. I will say the only one I wanted the more than the ones I've gotten was definitely the hot dog and definitely the grape soda. There's something about that purple soda. It's calling out to me. Okay. Come on, resin. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good. Oh, compared to how some of my other videos have been going with the mini verses, this is going pretty good. Charles went good too. I appreciate that these sets don't feel so complex. Because sometimes you do these and you're like, ah, the pressure. I also don't think I want to put the blue sprinkles on. There's no other blue here. I don't think I want to. I think it's actually really going to be cute as is. And I'm not even going to put, you know, I just have a little bit of glaze here and there. Maybe just a little more right here. Sorry to steal you away from the camera for a second. Just want to give it a little more on the top. Not much though, just a little. Kind of give it a, a look of like butter, but it's pink. 
like that. I think that is super -de duper cute. I really should find that popcorn I dropped. I would love to add that last kernel on. But where it went, I have no idea. Literally no idea. Okay. I am very happy with this one. This came out really cute. So I'll go put this in the oven and we will get set up for our macaroons and our petite de flower things. Be right back. Alrighty guys, we're gonna work on our little treats next. I have also grabbed some of my extras from previous ones because I really like the decorations that these come with, but I think we can spruce it up even further. Um, like for instance, this little yellow or excuse me, white and orange flower, I think could look really cool with like an orange slice. So we're going to give it a shot. I'm not going to make any guarantees as to how it's going to look, but I thought it would be kind of fun to experiment and just see what we end up with. So we will open up all our little fruits. So we are prepared. Oops. In advance. Just so we have tons and tons to choose from. Not that they want to open for me right now. Because that would be too easy. Alright. And then we're going to pop open our other glaze here. And then I'm hoping that between these two bottles, we will have enough glaze to do our macarons. Worst case scenario, I have some banana cream. So we can use that if needed. All right, I have got to go turn off that pot of boiling water, but I'll be right back. All right, let's continue, and we will get these started. I would stick my fingers directly into the resin. That was very smart. Okay, now I've seen other people do these already, and I noticed that y'all are very careful, so I will try to do the same. Because it seems like they want to leak over right away. So we're going to try to prevent that. Let's see. Are you guys able to see this? Okay, I hope. And let's just do like a really small dollop. And let's just kind of push it around with the nozzle. These actually might be easier if I just pick it up. It really is. Okay. This is not bad at all. This is not bad at all. Okay, you just gotta move fast. Okay. You can do this. Not so hard. Let's get it all the way to the edge. I should have left my fingers more room. Okay. We're just trying to go quick here so we can get our decor on there as well. Yeah, I'm glad I saw somebody else do this. This is a good idea. Rather than like loading it up or blah, blah, just put a very light coat, just enough to get the top, and then put your decor on there. All right, I wish I would have grabbed my regular tweezers, but we're just going to go for it. We are just going to go for it. So, I want to grab an orange. Hope it's not too big. Ooh, I think it is too big. Okay. I don't think I want an orange anymore. Oh, I don't think that'll be very cute. But maybe a strawberry. Let's see if that... Oops. I just threw the strawberry. Let's grab another one. Let's see if that would be small. Ooh. Um, all right, we're going to do something crazy. Okay, okay, okay. You guys are going to think I'm nuts. Ooh, that came out cool. Okay, didn't anticipate that, but we're gonna just keep on going. All right, I don't wanna put a strawberry on every single one of them. So let's do a rose. Oh no, go where you're supposed to, please. 
No, you're just making a mess of the resin. Okay, we're back on track, we're back on track. It's okay. Okay, continuing forward. Let's grab another strawberry. Oh, come on, camera. I'm sure half of you guys are like, just get your new tripod already. Oh my god. And I'm like, I know. Whoa, or a lot. Okay. Didn't want that to happen, but okay. I like how those are coming out. Those are cute. Alright, we're going to do one more with the strawberry. It's probably good because the other strawberry I had is somewhere on the floor now. Okay. Here we go with the last one. What are these strawberries? Okay, and then we need the white flower again. Ah, where did you go? It ran away, but it's okay. Just a little dot. I'm surprised at how well these tweezers are working, to be quite honest. I didn't have much faith in that, but apparently I should have. Right, let's do another rose. Come on, rose. Excuse you, rose. Okay. And then we have one left, which I think I wanna try and hopefully not fail to do the orange and white next to the orange and white. So let's give it, a, oh, good gravy. Let's attempt to give it a go. And then we just flip this one around. Ugh. Okay. These are by far some of the favorite ones I've done. And I still have a rose left, which is pretty darn cool. All right, let me just go get these into the oven and we will do our macarons. Okay, friends, here we are on our last one, the macarons. So we have our little tray ready. We have all our macarons ready. And we have our two glazes that we had left ready. So what I am thinking there is one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe I should lay out like the six bases. Two, three, four, five, six. And then I saw somebody did this smart and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to replicate it, but I'm gonna darn well try, which was to get it ready like this put a really good size amount of resin, like get a base started, cook it, and then come back and add a little more and then the top so it has like an actual like macaroon filling. Don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're going to try. All right, so again, no guarantees, gonna give it a shot. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we're leaking fast. Okay. We gotta move quicker than I am. Got it, got it, got it. We're not any I was gonna switch colors, but we are no longer going to do that. We are just going to keep moving before things start to drip on us. Okay. Oh no! I let that one drip automatically. <sighs> no. Too thick, too thick. No, 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 no. Now we got two of them doing it. No, no. No. sideways fast. We're going sideways fast. Okay, let's just use our little thingy. Um, so it worked on some of these and not others. Okay, good to know. Oh, man. Now I got resin everywhere. Shoot. <gasps> oh, 
Okay, this is just disgraceful. Okay, this is going horribly wrong. Okay, we're gonna pause and be right back. All right, guys, here's where we ended up. I don't wanna say that the macaroons went horribly wrong, but they sure did. So I may or may not have just thrown those away. Um, don't, don't judge me. The oven stopped working after a while. I think I may have overkilled it by making so many things at once, whoopsie. Um, but here's everything we ended up with. I think it came out really, 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 really cute. These little cafe series are definitely some silent winners. Like, look at that popcorn. It came out so cute. So while it was a lot of work, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride along with me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It is free and it really helps a girl out. I hope you guys stay tuned and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.